the rain just keeps falling. The atmospheric river battering Southern California is breaking trees and limbs and records. Downtown Los Angeles broke its daily rainfall record, one that's held since 1927. It recorded 4.1 inches of rain, beating the 2.55 inches that fell nearly a century ago. We did not expect this, so this is a new experience. Stephen Worth and his family moved here from Seattle last August. They're used to rain, but not this. He and his wife and 10-year-old daughter are now stuck at home with no way to leave. A small river has formed across their only way out and Kristen Wong's only way in. Like I was like, oh, this is really happening fast. So it grew like as I was stuck in my car. That's her car. Just the visual alone is pathetic and and sad. This is why we emphasize turn around, don't drown. This started out as a small trickle and it turned into a raging torrent. And the owners who live up this driveway certainly didn't expect this to happen to them. And they certainly weren't expecting this, a 5 a.m. mudslide and debris flow that narrowly missed their home. Just heard like glass breaking, like the sound of, I mean, there was no mistaking what was going on and just kind of like a rumble. Like a, like a mild earthquake. A newly remodeled guest house in the direct path of the failing hillside. As for this, that's a pool. Underneath that is a pool. Sunday night, creeks became rivers with water rushing over bridges, bringing debris with it. It's the kind of scenario first responders trained to handle. Cal OES coordinated the strategic prepositioning of swift water rescue teams all over Southern California. If something happens, they want to be there. It's a tactic that paid dividends in lives saved during the Montecito mudslides, and it could again. When we preposition like this, um, having uh, command and control, personnel on site, uh, prior to an event happening, it's actually, it, it's, it's a game changer for us. It saves time when time can mean life or death. But for Stephen, Stacy, and little Zoe, this is more of an inconvenience. With no way to drive out, they found a ride to a hotel, and we were very happy to help. For the latest information on this series of storms, follow us on all our social media channels.